Hi, so in this video I'm going to go over some really bad user interfaces for um, a basic calculator. What I've done is divide each um, well, set of examples into three broad categories. It's input, output and processing. These names roughly identify where the mistake in the user interface um, lies. So. Uh, let's have a look at an application called Line. What Line does is exploit the idea that um, certain buttons um, shouldn't be placed far away from other buttons. And so um, I, here I've made a single line where the entire application kind of exists. And in order to use it, you have to actually move your mouse a considerable distance to any spot along it to actually make use of it. Um, I've also placed the cancel button or the clear button close to the equals button in the hope that the user would make a mistake. Um, yeah, uh, and I've also kind of adjusted the um, order in which buttons have been placed. So on this side, as you can see, um, the numbers are kind of spaced in between the functions. Um, and on this side here you'll see that the order has been effectively randomized so um, hopefully that will increase the time it takes for a user to learn the interface. Right, let's move on to another example called NoGrid. NoGrid um, does away with the idea that when we design applications we actually have an underlying grid structure that we place all of our buttons on um, and a grid structure what it does is allow for conformity and consistency across many screens um, and so by removing that idea I have effectively made an application which has randomized um, button sizes both in width and height and the font size for every button has also been changed and adjusted so that it is as frustrating as possible. Um, I've also placed and made the um, clear button as large as possible in comparison to the equals button, um, trying to maximize the potential for the user to make a mistake and click the cancel when they intended to click the equals. Right, so let's have a look at some of the output examples now. Um, here's an application called Obscured. What Obscured does is um, place a line of white space in front of the numbers and this makes it very very hard to differentiate and identify um, the numbers 0, 8, 9 and 6. Um, they can be identified however although it requires the user to actually move in closer to the screen so that they can get a better look because effectively it's about a one pixel difference between each one. Um, and this is really trying to convey the idea that it's essential in a good user interface to provide clear information um, at all times. In the, another example we have uh, that's called small text and buttons rearranged, I've rearranged the buttons into a fairly well, non-standard layout for a calculator, although that's not really the essential factor. The essential factor is that I've reduced the font size to the bare minimum um, while still being readable. And again, this is going to force a user to move closer to the screen in order to see the value of the output. And this would be especially frustrating um, for users who have poor eyesight. Right, let's have a look at um, the processing example. So first we'll have a look at calculating. Um, what calculating does, oh actually I could first explain where the, what processing actually kind of refers to. Um, so processing is the part that's in between um, a user entering some values and getting the output. So it's that time in between that I'm kind of trying to uh, play around with here. So let's say I've entered a value and I want to add a number to it and when I press equals this application can, takes over my entire screen for a random amount of time um, and tells me it's calculating thereby stopping me from doing anything else um, and of course it doesn't actually take this much time to calculate the value I've just made an artificial limitation and moreover that artificial limitation is randomized each time and I think it's between um, 
about one second and seven seconds. Um, so some randomized interval between that. So trying it again, you'll see that the time it takes for the calculating to occur is longer. Um, this time sounds very frustrating to me, having to wait for a calculator to do this, um, when in fact it should you know, do it a lot faster and not stop me from doing other things while it's calculating. Right, so let's have a look at delay key. And this is a similar idea to the calculator example. Um, however, in this example, I'm playing with the or playing with a delay in each button press. So notice here how I've pressed many buttons, and they're slowly showing up as being highlighted before the final value is shown. Um, here I'll press it once, and notice how it takes a random amount of time for that button to show up in the display. Yeah. So all the buttons behave in this way. They beha um, there's a randomized amount of time between the button press and the button display, and that will be between 200 milliseconds and 3 seconds, at least in this example. I found that to be a fairly annoying time frame. Right, um, the final example, uh, it's been dubbed Moving Ads, and what Moving Ads does is display ads over top of the application, and there's a successive number of ads, so there's no way to close the ads, they, and they, well, they'll keep moving towards the application, no matter where the application is on screen. So if I move it over here, for example, the ads will slowly move towards the application at that corner of the screen. If I move the ads away, they, um, oh, and the ads are always on top as well, and so there's no way that I can just move my calculator and just click it to maintain um, uh, visibility. And once this, of course, basically means that my task of actually calculating becomes far more complex because I have to enter values in a very short amount of time to actually get something that is of use to me while the ads will slowly move towards um, the calculator itself. Right, um, so there's a bit of a tour of some really bad user interfaces. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation and um, I hope you have a nice day.